Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to get started on this look. So on the first eye, I already started the look. It's clearly not finished yet, but I wanted to lay down a blueprint for what I want to show you guys. So on my blank eye, I have a piece of tape, which will give me that sharp line. And of course, I will be blending that out later. And for my base, I'm using Max Paint Pot and Soft Ochre and the white base shade from the BH Cosmetics Take Me To Brazil palette. I will be using that palette for this look and I will be giving one away later, so stay tuned for contest rules. Since this palette is all rainbow and colorful, I did need to use a crease shade outside of the palette. So I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush from NYX and a ColourPop shadow, and I'm just going to be putting that in my crease gently. Using that same blending brush, I'm going to dip in the lighter hot pink on the top row and put it into my crease. Now I'm going to drag this all the way towards my nose so that I can have the biggest array of color on my lid. You also want to build up this pigment gradually. I'm taking this darker bright pink on the same brush and putting it right into my crease so that I can create some darkness and depth. Just adding a little bit more of that hot pink for some extra pigment. Yep, it's looking pretty good so far. Using an eyeliner brush and some Born This Way concealer, I'm going to cut the crease. Don't forget to set that concealer. Next, I will be digging into this beautiful bright icy blue with the shadow brush and placing it in the center of my lid. I'm going to be using a precision brush to bring that color all the way up to the cut crease so that it can be sharp and snatched, Chanti. Now I'm going to dig into this indigo blue with the other side of my shadow brush and place it on my outer corner. Time for some neon green. I'm going to be using a more precise shadow brush to connect this to the previous color. I'm going to be using a rounded eyeshadow brush to take this bright yellow and place it in my inner corner. To add more dimension, I'm going to be deepening up my crease with these two pinks and this red. I'm going to put this pink where it went previously and I'm going to be putting the red on the outer corner of my eye. The lines are clean and sharp, but I will go in with a clean blending brush to soften them up a little bit. They'll also look way better when they're connected to the lower lash line. This is what the look looks like so far, but of course it's not finished and it needs to be touched up. I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup and I will come back and show you guys how to add some color to your lower lash line. While doing my lower lash lines, I did lose some footage, but thankfully I didn't finish both eyes entirely, so I'm going to show you how to do this right now. Take the indigo blue on a smudger brush and connect it with your outer corner. Then drag it towards the middle so that you can create a smudged under eye effect. Take some icy blue and put it right on top. Using a more precise smudger brush, take the neon green and drag it towards your inner corner. You might want to add some more icy blue in the middle to connect the darker blue and the green and make the mesh better and look blended. On the rounded shadow brush we used earlier, place some yellow in your inner corner and connect it to the green. 
Now that we're done with the basics, I'm going to add my lashes and mascara off camera. You can also add a little optional pop of glitter in your inner corner with some NYX glitter glue and glitter. Hey guys, I'm back. This is the finished look. Super bright, super cool. I'll insert some pictures so you guys can see what it actually looks like without all the bright lights and stuff like that. I put on my lashes, I added a little dab of glitter glue and silver holographic glitter. And I put Tootsie by Colourpop Liner and NYX Pale Pink Liner on my lips. Tootsie went on the outside, Pale Pink went on the inside. Right now it looks crusty as fuck because I have to add some gloss. I also want to highlight with you guys and share which highlighters I want to use for this look because they're colorful. So right now the first thing we're going to do is set our face. You guys already know I love the Urban Decay setting spray, so... Yes! Uh, yes! Uh. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply some highlighter. I'm gonna be using the A23 brush, and I'm also gonna be using the Moonchild Glow Kit. This is what the Glow Kit looks like, and since we do have a rainbow on our faces, we can use any color we'd like. I personally think I'm going to go for... Hmm, should I go for pink heart? I think I'll go for pink heart. I'll go for pink heart and maybe a little bit of blue ice and mix them. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the finished look in its entirety. I hope you guys have fun with me doing this. Maybe one of you guys will actually try this out and if you do, please send me pictures because that would be awesome. Now, you guys know that I used the Take Me To Brazil palette for this look. It's from BH Cosmetics, which is a brand that I support heavily because they make wonderful, high quality cosmetics available to people of all economic backgrounds. These palettes are really cheap, really affordable, yet super pigmented and super high quality with no irritating ingredients. So I've decided to give one of these palettes away. Hold on one second. I have another unopened one right here. Still has the plastic on it and everything. I got two, so instead of being greedy, I decided that one of you guys should have this, especially since you guys are supporting me and it's all I've ever dreamed of, honestly. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm going to DM the winners of this contest. So, in order for you to be chosen, you do have to be following me on Instagram because I don't want to risk DMing someone and then it going to like the spam folder or whatever and them not seeing it and I don't have, want to have to like message multiple people. So here are the rules. You have to be following me on Instagram. I'm going to put my Instagram handle on the screen. You have to be subscribed. You have to like this video. And in the comments, you have to tell me one part of your identity that you're proud of and why and leave your Instagram handle in the comment section. So I'm just going to read through the comments. Of course, I'm going to read through every single one of them and reply to you guys. I'm going to pick one at random and then whoever I pick at random, I'm going to message on Instagram. They have 24 hours to respond. If they don't respond, I pick a new winner and then I mail it out. The main reason why I'm doing this video is because I want to let you guys know that I love you and I respect you and I honestly just want you guys to be yourselves and be comfortable with being yourselves and love each other <laughs> because the main reason why I created this channel was because I was going through really bad bouts of anxiety, crippling anxiety, and I had no idea who I was. I was having identity issues, and YouTube was one of those places where I was able to come and figure myself out and connect with other people that genuinely cared about me and I genuinely cared about them. And this is the type of place I want to create with my channel, so I want to invite everybody to celebrate each other's differences and, you know, constantly radiate positivity and love and support for you guys. So. I hope one really special person wins this gift and I'm definitely gonna do more I'm almost at a thousand subscribers so once I reach that I definitely want to do a super cool giveaway I'm thinking um, like summer essentials that you need to keep your face on fleek you know like setting sprays and powders and stuff that I swear by so that'd be a really really cool experience thank you guys so so much for watching this was a really 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 important video for me to do and it meant so much to me so I'm so glad that you're here if you have any requests please let me know and if you think something positive about this video please comment it because your feedback means so much to me don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so that you guys can see me next time